Something tells me we found our special ore. <gasps> you have got to be kidding me. Uh, honey, are you okay? I'm more than okay. Do you know what this is? It's orichalcum. Do you have any idea how much this stuff is worth? Orichalcum? Well, well. I've read about it in books, but I've never seen it with my own eyes. Are you sure, laddie? Am I sure, he asks? You bet I am. I steal valuable stuff for a living, remember? This is it. The rarest metal in the world. I wish Mia was here to see this. So this is the ore we were looking for. I should have guessed. Imagine what a fortune you could make with a lump this big. Uh, sorry. Got a little carried away there. Don't worry, I get it. This here ore is strictly for sword making. We're one step closer to making that sword, but we've still got a way to go. Let's hit the road. So the rumors were true. Erdwin's lantern descends towards Galopolis. They say it began when Yggdrasil fell and darkness covered the land. But why? What is happening to our world? Erdwin's Lantern, eh? Back in Dundrasil, we had a legend that after Erdwin defeated the Dark One, he ascended to the skies as a star, so he could watch over Erdria for all eternity. That was one of Eleanor's favorite stories. And I always thought it was just that, a story. But now I'm not so sure. I mean, if the Lord of Shadows rise caused Erdwin's lantern to descend... Uh... Are you even listening, laddie? Ha, oh, charming. Well, I can share my musings with you again if you'd like. Back in Dundrasil, we had a legend that after Erdwin defeated the Dark One, he ascended to the skies as a star, so that he could watch over Erdria for all eternity. It was one of your mother's favorite stories. And I always thought it was just that, a story. But now I'm not so sure. It does seem that the Lord of Shadows' rise has caused Erdwin's lantern to descend after all. Well, I suppose this is no time to be standing around pontificating. The lantern's on course to crash straight into this fair kingdom. We'd best go and see what the Sultan thinks of all this, eh? My boy, please! Your reckless heroics will get you killed! Fear not, father! I will take all necessary precautions! By the time I return, the mystery of the star will be solved, and Galopolis will be saved. Hmm? Ah, it is you. Thank you once again for all you did for my son. I... Surely this cannot be! It's been a while, eh, your majesty? Years, in fact. I haven't seen you since the colloquy of kings, and the disaster that followed. Lord Robert, please, you must listen. What we were told about the Luminary was false. He is not the spawn of the darkness after all. Alas, we were all deceived by King Carnelian. 
We allowed the world to be destroyed. We brought this disaster upon ourselves. Oh, come on, your majesty. We can hardly be blamed. This is Mordigan's doing. He's the one who possessed King Carnelian and caused all this chaos. This is down to him and no one else. Lord Robert. Now, listen. We need to talk about that star. If Erdwin's lantern falls much further, Galopolis is done for. What do you know about it? Sadly, very little. I have tasked my finest scholars with investigating its origins, but they have discovered nothing. Uh, there is one thing that may be of interest. My son Faris claims to have been able to make out runes on the surface of the barrier that surrounds the star. Runes, eh? This is the first I've heard of a barrier surrounding the lantern, let alone anything being written on it. Was your lad sure of this? He certainly appeared to be. In fact, he has taken one of our most learned scholars to the Celestial Sands in order to investigate the runes more closely. It is there that we believe the star will make its landing. I see. Reckon we'd better go and take a good look at these runes ourselves, eh? Shall we head out after the prince? It would put my mind at ease if you would, Lord Robert. I cannot help but worry about him being abroad in such dangerous circumstances. Ah. Hmm. You have my thanks. I will instruct the guards to permit you passage through the checkpoint. Journey safely. No, no, no. You agreed to do this. Come. We must move closer. We cannot hope to read the runes from here. But, Your Highness, I am sorry. It is too dangerous. I'm afraid I must refuse. Do you have a means of deciphering the symbols without entering the celestial sands? Well, no, but... Oh, Prince Poo. Hello, darling. Long time no see. Sylvando! Uh, what an... Uh, unexpected pleasure. The Sultan said you were out here in the scary sands trying to read runes of a falling star. Huh. Guess you grew up to be quite the brave boy, hmm. Ah, I am simply doing my duty to my people. But what about you? <laughs> what brings you to the sands? The same thing as you, Your Highness. We have come to investigate Erdwin's lantern. Sir Hendrik? The Sir Hendrik? Ah, oh, the hero of Heliodor here in my kingdom! You know who I am, Your Highness? But of course! You are my hero! You are every aspiring knight's hero! To serve under your command is my life's ambition! I am honored, Your Highness. The courage you have shown in venturing out here suggests that you would make a fine knight, wherever or whomever you serve. Truly, you have no idea how much your words mean to me. Oh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Sorry to butt in, Your Highness, but might I ask how your investigations are going? You were looking a wee bit frustrated back there when we arrived. Indeed I was, old man. That fool of a scholar is too frightened to accompany me any further into the sands. I am not one for learning. The symbols will mean nothing to me, which leaves me in quite a predicament. Well, I think I might be able to help out there, if you'll allow me. You are some manner of wizened ancient? Excellent! I would be very much obliged. The runes can be best seen from the ruins in the center of the sands. Meet me there! <sighs> Taking a nap, Principal. And there was me thinking you'd come to investigate the lantern. Oh, truly, it is even more magnificent when one lies directly beneath it. How many can say that they have seen such glories up close? Hmm. Huh. 
<sighs> You're a special one, darling. Don't go changing, hmm? What are these ruins, anyway? And how come they're out here all on their own in the middle of the desert? Huh? Oh, they have been here forever. Since the age of our grandfather's grandfathers. Or some such nonsense. built for something very important. I just know it. <gasps> Ooh, maybe some kind of stage. <gasps> what a place to perform. Can you imagine? You weren't wrong about the runes, your highness. I can definitely see some on the side of the lantern. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Are you okay, honey? You were talking to yourself, and we all know what that means. of shadows the lantern it has disappeared the star was named for Erdwin but can such an ominous phenomenon truly be the work of heroes was the foul creature wielding the sword not uh, that was no foul creature sir Hendrik that was the savior of Galopolis he spared us all from the falling star hmm the kingdom is saved. My people will surely thank me when I bring them the good tidings. I must return to the city and spread the news. Come and find me at the palace if you need me. <laughs> yes! Kalasmus. <sighs> hmm. 
What could that mean? Hmm. Why don't we go ask the Sultan? It's his kingdom. Maybe he knows something. Ah. Hmm. It is a relief to see you safe, my friends. When the star shattered, I could not help but fear the worst. Faris has explained all that came to pass out upon the sands. It seems a savior appeared and destroyed the lantern before it could lay waste to my kingdom. Aye. Though, I wouldn't go calling him your savior just yet. Anyway, never mind that now. There's something I want to ask you, Your Majesty. The runes on the barrier around the star, they spelled out a word, Kalasmus. Does that mean anything to you? Kalasmus? Hmm. Sadly, it does not. Well, if it was written on the side of a star, you can bet it means something. Something important. Yeah, but we can't go letting it distract us too much. Mordigan's not going to defeat himself. We've work to be getting on with. Lord Robert, your quest to defeat the Lord of Shadows is a noble one. The people of Galopolis will be praying for your success. Yes, and if there is ever anything you require, you need only ask. After all, I still owe you a favor. Oh, I clean forgot. We need to ask the Sultan about that hammer that used to belong to Erdwin. Is there something I can help you with, Lord Robert? As a matter of fact, there is. I need to pick your brains about a giant hammer that's supposed to be kept here in Galopolis. We're going to need it to defeat Mordigan, and apparently you lot have had it since the Age of Heroes. Hmm. The giant hammer, you say? Oh yes! You mean the forging hammer? It has been in the royal family for generations. Ferris, fetch the forging hammer from the treasure room. Hmm. <laughs> Aye, this is it. This is Erdwin's hammer, the one we saw in the vision. Father, do you truly intend to give the hammer away? We had intended to sell it in order to fund this year's San National. <gasps> Silence! Insolent boy! <clears throat> the forging hammer is one of Galopolis's greatest treasures. It has been handed down through the generations since time immemorial. But if we must relinquish it, then so be it. You are the only ones who can defeat the Lord of Shadows. If you need it, it is yours. My nurse once told me that the power of the spirit of the land resides within the forging hammer. It is said that it can beat even the hardest of metals into shape. At least, I think that is how the story goes. Well, I hope it helps you on your quest. Best of luck, dear friends. I shall be expecting good news. Unhappy tidings. The one assailed by the fiend sleeps still like the bear. Fair Mistress Miko, the rite cannot be performed with the beast abroad.
villain's whining car! A monk spirit is equal to any monster! <sighs> this accursed wound! Until it heals, I am helpless. The right left undone. Well, I sure wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of her. Oh, but we have guests. Forgive the storm of my rage. My shame knows no bounds. The wind blew you here. Surely it was not by chance. Will you hear my tale? The Angry Mountain. A rite must be performed there, lest fire consume us. But disaster looms. A monk was sent to pray, yet a beast blocked his path. The fiend loomed, monstrous. Fierce of fang and sharp of claw, he ran for his life. I longed to hunt it. But I faced another foe and suffered this wound. A great fire dragon, Tatsunaga the Terror. Now he is no more. Forgive my boldness, but the beast blocks our lifeline. Slay it in my stead. I greet your kind words, as the step in high summer greets the falling rain. Head first to the west. You will find a mountain path. There the monster waits. Oh, guiding spirit, guardian of rock and flame, protect these brave souls. of here! Go on! Go away! <sighs> go away! Or I will eat you! The beast is upon us! Stand fast! I... I am the spirit of the mountain! And I have very, very sharp claws! If you do not want to be torn to pieces, you had better get out of here! We're going nowhere. Not until you promise to stop bullying innocent monks and let the villagers climb the mountain. Huh? Um, was it something I said? Sh shouldn't they be running away? Wha what are we going to do? Shut up, idiot! They will hear us! How are we going to scare them away if you keep jabbering? This is all your fault, Atsuko! Now we are in trouble! Shut up, Atta! If you had not fallen over, we would never have ended up in this mess! <laughs> so much for our big scary monster! It's just a couple of little ones! You surprised us, darlings! Foolish children! What possessed you to risk your lives with such recklessness? <laughs> No, we never meant it. <clears throat> we have done no wrong. Miko's right has to be stopped. A tragedy looms. Yes, yes! You have to listen to my brother. Miko wants to do a horrible thing and we have to stop her. Seems these bairns have got a bee in their bonnet about something. We'd better get to the bottom of this. You will hear us out. Other grown-ups ignore us, as mountains do rain. Do you really think they will? Is someone finally going to listen to us? I think so, and they seem very strong. With them on our side, people are sure to listen. Hmm. 
We have a hideout. A den, like a fox's home. We will meet you there. Hurry, hurry! <laughs> You are... <clears throat> Thank you for coming. We have been awaiting you, as seeds await spring. These people, my son, the travelers you spoke of? Light in the darkness? Yes, mother, they came. The ones who did not treat us as horses treat flies. You said you were trying to stop the right. Why would you wish to do so? The right is sacred, or so we have long been taught. But this is just wrong. To appease the gods, a sacrifice will be made. Oh. <sighs> Human sacrifice? Oh my, this right is just not right. Miko gathered us. She made a grave pronouncement. A great shadow fell. In happier times, we offered up fruit, silk, corn. But those days are gone. Without sacrifice, living flame will consume us. The volcanoes rage. <sighs> the Lord of Shadows has got a lot to answer for. I was selected. A gift for the volcano. A live offering. But why me? Why now? It was the mountain that chose. Or so Miko said. Mother gave us life, so we had to fight for hers. It is our duty. A noble cause indeed. I see now why you did what you did. For the whole tree's sake, one leaf falls into the flames. Perhaps I should go. No, do not say that! You know your sacrifice is just an excuse! A few short days passed. Our mother saw Miko go, where she should not be. Miko learned of this. She now wants the truth buried. A mother also. She hides a secret, up there on the mountainside. Why else would she go? Certainly sounds like something fishes afoot. Maybe the lad is right. It can't hurt to take a look, at least. <gasps> you will take us there. This is music to our ears, as sweet as birdsong. Beyond this ladder, a path leads into darkness, the volcano's heart. Dead end, it seems. All twists and turns exhausted. The path leads nowhere. Oof. Well, it's a shame and all, but how about we get out of here? I don't know about you, but I'm sweating like a... <gasps> what in the world was that? It didn't sound good, whatever it was. Tatsunaga, the beast Miko spoke of. But did she not claim to have slain it? This is her secret. She did not beat the dragon. She left it to live. That liar, that cheat. Mother will not die for this. Miko must be stopped. Let us hurry back. The people deserve to know. The truth must be told. Everybody 
everybody, everybody! Be still, Atsuo. You must be like a spring breeze, not a howling gale. I will not be still. I will howl it to heaven. Tatsunaga lives! What nonsense he speaks. Tatsunaga is no more. Miko told us so. No, the creature lives. It roars and howls in its lair, loud as the mountain. <sighs> you lie, wretched child. A beast blocks the way upward you could not have passed. Ha! I am the beast. The unholy fiend you feared? Me and my sister. What? We took our mother and sought to keep you from her with a bold disguise. Idiot children. Your games will see us all killed by the mountain's rage. Ha! Why believe you? You whose tales of bold conquest were naught but hot air. The beast was not slain. You gave away our futures to save your own skin. Snake, devil, spider. You seek not sacrifices. You seek dragon food. Your scheme lies exposed. Your bargain with the dragon will not save you now. And what of Ryu, hmm? The son who fought beside you. Was his soul sold too? Enough! <gasps> Hush, mewling kitten. What do you know of the truth? Of sacrifices? <laughs> Can it truly be? The dragon's death, a facade? Dislodged by the breeze? If so, why all this? Why sate the mountain's anger? We die anyway. Silence! The dragon is gone. My beloved son slew him and paid with his life. <sighs> now, meddling brat, test the mountain's wrath no more. You risk all our lives. Bring forth your mother. The flames burn ever stronger while our time grows short. You shall not have her. I see through your web of lies. A cursed spider. <gasps> no. That's raw. Come quickly. That's an aga. She gave us to him. He will eat us all. Steady. Fire. Again. Stop. Stay your weapons. Though this may seem a dragon, it is but a boy. <gasps> Mistress Miko. To sate your hunger, I give up my mortal form. The fox feeds her cub. No! Mistress Miko! Quickly! Fire! He will kill us all! Fate hangs by a thread. We must fight fire with cold steel. You must face the beast. Hmm. 
You saw it swallow the priestess. Be on your guard. The beast flees! Chastened! Dust settles! Sunlight returns! The village is saved! <sighs> the bitter truth dawns. Day breaks. It's light, harsh, cruel. Miko is no more. First Ryu, now Miko. The lion's taken from us. Only sheep remain. Did you see her trying to protect that thing before it ate her? What was that about, huh? Who can know her mind? The sun of her heart eclipsed. Treachery blinds her. But one thing is clear. Until its flame is smothered, the beast is a threat. Tatsunaga's lair, at the heart of the mountain, reached by the great gate. It must be unlocked. Miko's maid, she has the key. Come now, to the shrine. Are the gods so cruel? To pile like rocks upon her, burden on burden. We came for the key. The one for the mountain gate. There, the dragon waits. With Miko's light gone, yours is the only glimmer. Take it. It is yours. the key. Clouds part. The way ahead clears. The end is at hand. Mm. Wait. Mm? You must know the truth. It sleeps between these pages. Wake it. Make it yours. Looks like a diary of some kind. Must be Miko's. My sins rend my heart. I must confess them or scream. Thus I record them. The battle was fierce. At last the dragon lay prone. My son drew his sword. But then, like a fog, blackness rose from the dragon. Poor Yu was smothered. I carried him home. He tried to fight the darkness, but the night prevailed. The beast had cursed him. Pain racked my poor boy's body. I watched his form change. He was a dragon. I had to hide him away. Pretend he was dead. <gasps> Can her words be true? Not Tatsunaga, but Ryu. This is who we fought? Hey, don't interrupt, honey. I want to hear how it ends. Could he be restored? A storm of doubts assailed me. But then the skies cleared. The magic mirror in which true forms are revealed. This might save my son. Alas, the mirror neither revealed nor restored. Though I tried and tried, my son's hunger grew. The hunger of the dragon for the flesh of men. It burns like hot sun. The agony of knowing, the choice that I make. But my son must live till I master the mirror I wear by my heart. Thus have I chosen. Though others' lives are squandered, my boys must be saved. 
Ugh, it's a tragic tale. The poor woman, torn between her child and her people. It's a choice you wouldn't wish on anybody. Maybe if we could get our hands on that mirror she mentioned, we might have more luck with it than she did. But Miko is gone. The magic mirror with her. The light of hope fades. You cannot be saved. Only the creature remains. You must forget him. Mother Devourer! Peril! Foul scourge! Murderer! The beast must be slain! Yes, the time has come. Meet me on the western path, before the great gate. A warm welcome face, like the spring after winter. Throw open the gate. I must see the end of the dragon and his tail. I must come with you. Is this really him? The man who once fought for good, reborn as a beast. Once kind as the sun, once gentle as the spring breeze. Now he burns, rages. For our dear home's sake, I would gladly give my life. He said this to me. He must be released. For Hotto's sake, and for his, please, end this sadness. Like the look of this. Mirror now mastered. The season of the beast ends. That of peace begins. Inside me, at last the miasma cleared. The curse was broken. One question remains. How did the mirror get there? What brought the out in? Alas, time grows short. My spirit ebbs like the tide. I drift from life's shore. But I am ready. Knowing that all is now well, I die happily. I ask only this. Tell my mother I love her. I await her. When first we came here, rage burned in me at Mika, at her treachery. But though she did wrong, she did it with good reason, or so she believed. She loved her son Ryu, just as we love our mother. 
as the fox its cubs. Now to the village. Sun shines on Hotto once more. We must share the news. At last we are saved. Your courage is as boundless as the starry skies. Mother! Yes! <laughs> Can you forgive us? To condone your sacrifice brought eternal shame. The past is buried. A new season greets us all. A season of sun. How can the sun shine on a village whose people drift now, rudderless? We believed in lies, trusted one who betrayed us. Who now will guide us? not supposed to be able to think for themselves? The dragon is gone. For this, we thank our friends here, but Miko the most. Though she betrayed us, we only live thanks to her. Our breath is her gift. To sacrifice us must have burned hotter than fire. We must forgive her. A new dawn awaits. We must make our own future. She died that we might. <sighs> they do not need to know the whole truth. They have seen tragedy enough. The people of Hotto must rely on themselves now. And Atsuko and I will make sure they do. place we saw in the vision. I'd know that decor anywhere. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's make a new sword of light so we can go chop the Lord of Shadows down to size. Take it from here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. I'm not about to let you steal all the glory, honey. If you get to have a go, we all do. Aye. And besides, we saw in the vision that the old heroes all had a bash. We'd best follow the lead, eh? Yep. We're all in this together. May the new Sword of Light be tempered by the resolve of all those who would drive darkness from this world. <laughs> well, 
I'm going with you, Orla. <laughs> if I hadn't met you, I'd never have been able to save Mia and make things right. Now it's my turn to help you. Haha! <laughs> 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 Let's get this sword made and the world saved! I've got people to entertain and a promise to my puppy to keep. <laughs> Now I'm gonna help make sure he fulfills his destiny. I thought it was my job to stand behind the Luminary. It's not. I'm supposed to stand beside him. We all are. I hereby pledge, as a Knight of Heliodor, to fight to the end for the cause of the Luminary. May I be his sword, his shield, his unswerving companion. Veronica, I promise to finish this without you. I'm stronger now, thanks to you. For the Luminary! Did we do it? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Pick that thing up and give it a swing. are assembled. You have the means to take to the air, and now you possess the Sword of Light. The time to face the Lord of Shadows is at hand. What he said. Let's finish this. This is it. It's time to go and get our revenge.
Mordigan's domain at last. We must be on our guard. <gasps> Look out! Shadows awaits within. Onward. <laughs> Hear me, Jasper. The fate that has bound us together for so long ends here. Today.
didn't regret a thing. I know she didn't. She died with hope in her heart. Hope that we would bring back the light. Uh, hmm. This is your doing. I sense it. Jasper, show yourself! <laughs> Still, you speak of hope? Of light? Even now, with one of your little band beyond saving, your faith is sickening. Stubbornly to life. You never did know when to give up. Yet another virtue to despise in you. You come here seeking an audience with my master, I suppose. Well, I'm afraid I shall have to disappoint you. I would ask you to leave politely. But we both know you are too pig headed to listen, and besides, I would not want your journey to have been in vain. Surpassed me in wickedness and naught else. Bold words indeed, but you will pay for them with your life. I shall offer up your broken bodies in tribute to Almighty Mordigan. among demons, supreme commander of the Spectral Sentinels. How could mere humans defeat me? Again, you surpass me. Again, you outdo me. Again, you... You leave me behind! Hmm. The more you bathed in glory, the more brightly you shone, the more I receded into shadow. Do you know what it was that I always wanted? I wanted to be like you. evil on the other side. It can only be... Mordigan. At last the time has come to face him. Hey, no fair! Let me go! Can't move! <laughs> Did you think me beaten? Did you think you had bested me? I, Jasper, Supreme Commander of the Spectral Sentinels? 
Huh? Didn't we beat all of these guys? How can they be back? <laughs> oh, Hendrik, your face. Now you'll see who has left who behind. By all means, go to face my master, but know that you will do so alone. Your friends here will be staying with us. <laughs> No, he shall not go alone. I swore an oath. I am the Luminaris' sword, his shield, his unswerving companion. We all are. We're in this together. If we face Mordigan, we face him as one. Aye, if you think I'm missing my chance to get revenge for my Eleanor after all these years, you've another thing coming. Don't worry, darling. I'm with you all the way. We're going to bring smiles and sunshine back to the world if it's the last thing we do. Yes, I promised Veronica I would finish this. And that's a promise I mean to keep. You heard. We're in this together. I'm not leaving anyone to suffer alone ever again. I'm supposed to help the Luminary. And that means to the bitter end. <laughs> Just one more chance, please! It is over, Jasper. Be still. <laughs> no, I cannot die yet. I have yet to surpass you! You speak of surpassing me, but in truth it is I who always followed in your wake. You were the one who spurred me on, the light that guided me. Without you, I would never have become myself. How is it that you never knew? H Hendrik! Mordigan must pay. So you have come, Luminary. But you are too late. The source of life is no more. Erdria is veiled in darkness, and I reign supreme. Brazil is dead. You are not but leaves blown on the wind.
shine with a sickening light, just as did those of the hero of old. Fools. Why do you never learn? Love, hope, dreams, worthless, mere words. And yet your faith in them refuses to die. But no longer. I shall carve a despair into the human soul that will last until your kind finally dwindles and dies. of the luminary. Impressive. But I tire of these games. I am Mordigan, master of all things. I call upon the power of the sword. All must be destroyed! Lost. 
Look, that light! Mordigan's passing must have freed the heart of Egdrasil from his clutches. I wish Veronica could have been here to see this. <sighs> I think it's time to go home, don't you? <laughs> 